Hello, Charles from American Life 365. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to sweeten your tree to produce sweeter fruits. Look at my mandarin tree. There are so many mandarins on the tree. They are not only beautiful, but also very sweet. Very sweet. When I bought this tree six years ago, there were some green mandarins on its saplings. Basically, tree producers want the trees to have some fruit on the saplings. Because people tend to buy trees with fruit. Not only does this tree look beautiful, but people believe that this tree will bear more fruit after purchases. If you believe in this trick, you are most likely to be very disappointed. After I bought this small tree and planted, the mandarins on the tree matured and ripened a few months later. We were very excited to taste the ripe mandarins. Unfortunately, we were very disappointed. The mandarins were sour and a bit bitter. Because the seller provided the guarantee of sweetness and livability in the first year, I dug it out and tried to return the tree to the seller for a refund. The seller refused my refund because we transplanted this tree to the ground after purchase, which is ridiculous. How can we buy a tree without transplanting to its ground? I think the seller is trying to find an excuse to refuse any refund. I brought the dear poor pity tree back and planted it back to its original place. I stared at the tree and asked, can you change yourself to a sweeter one? A sweeter mandarin tree? Her branch nodded repeatedly, as if telling me that I should ask myself. Six years later, this tree becomes so beautiful and sweeter tree. <laughs> I really appreciate the seller did not accept my return six years ago. <laughs> After planting the mandarin trees in the backyard, I started to feed the trees with good things. The so-called good things are organic homemade compost made from dead leaves, peels, meat, and leftovers. Then the tree bloomed many flowers and bore some mandarins. I picked a ripened mandarin, which was sweeter than the previous mandarins we tasted in the first year. This is a reward for my outstanding work. I found this tree has become a sweeter fruit tree. Since then, I have cherished her more and fed her more homemade organic compost, especially potash and phosphate enhanced compost. My story tells me that it is possible to make a tree sweeter 
and it begins to produce sweet fruit from sour fruit. The first thing to sweeten a tree is to add more potassium or phosphorus. Potassium helps tree use water and drought resistances, and improve their ability to absorb nitrogen from soil and convert nitrogen into amino acids, and ultimately protein, which means more sugar in fruit. Finally, sweets makes growers happy. Phosphorus help plants to absorb sunlight to improve photosynthesis, ultimately promote growth and reproduction. In short, add more organic compost. Especially wood ash, mainly carbon and minerals. If you have a fruit tree, you can feel different sweetness from different sides of the tree. The fruit on the side facing the sun is sweeter than the back side facing the sun. In fact. This is because the stronger the light, the more photosynthesis, the more protein, and the sweeter. Exposure to more sunlight will also warm the fruit and leaves, and the heat on the fruit will also accelerate photosynthesis and to produce more protein. The fruit will become sweeter. Look at this mandarin, and it's bigger, and the color is beautiful, and the taste must be sweeter. Then we look at. This <laughs> small mandarin inside of the tree, they are small, and the color is not as beautiful as this one. So I guess the the taste is not as good as the big one. Why? Because the smaller one inside of the tree. Get less sunlight and wind. So the more sunlight and wind, the sweeter. <laughs> What are negative to sweeting a tree? It is poor management on watering and nitrogen fertilizer during the flower and the fruiting period. Too much nitrogen or too much water encourage trees to thrive. In addition, less sunlight and wind are not conductive to sweetness of the fruit. Sometimes wind is as important as sunlight, so too much water and nitrogen and too. Less sunlight and wind are not favorable to sweeten a tree. My question now is how to get organic compost. I have some videos about homemade compost. You can check it from the link I put in the videos comments. If you don't have homemade organic compost, you can buy something close to homemade organic compost. Buy some fertilizer, minerals, or fertilizer with enhanced phosphorus or potassium, 
Epsom salt is also helpful because it is rich in magnesium. Magnesium can help trees consume phosphorus and potassium. Before the microorganisms first consume it, minerals are not food that plants can consume. So organic is definitely better than raw minerals or non-organic. But at least Epsom salt or minerals provide more opportunities to become plant foods. If you go to store to buy some fertilizer, you focus on the second number and third number. The second number is phosphorus. Third number is potassium. So basically, you want to have potassium and phosphorus more and enhance the fertilizer. So that can make your plants or your tree sweeter. This one is a phosphorus. This one is a balanced phosphorus. This one is nitrogen and phosphorus. Oh, keep one thing in mind. Potassium and potash are exchangeable, as are phosphorus and phosphate. They have the same meaning. Don't get confused. In short, potassium and phosphorus, sunlight and heat play a vital role in the sweetness of fruits. Thank you for your sweetness to your trees. And in turn, your trees will reward you with sweetness. <laughs> so basically, you serve your trees with sweetness and your tree will serve you back with the sweetness. <laughs> okay, hope this video can help people grow more sweeter fruit. <laughs> We have hundreds of videos in many aspects of American life. If you like our video, please click the logo to subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Your effort to help us encourage us to make more videos. Thank you.